Hello all of you lovely people, Jules here for WhatCulture.com, and you know what, it's fair to say that the quality of video game side missions can vary wildly, with some serving as acceptable yet hardly essential diversions, while far more tend to end up as just repetitive copy-paste time wasters. But you know what, there are those rare games which actually dare to put an over-the-odds and frankly baffling amount of effort into their side quests and optional missions. As such, some of these peripheral stories ended up being at least as entertaining and worthwhile if not more so than even the mandatory main content. So let's dive into those side missions that were just absolutely superb today. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video game side missions you must complete. Number 10. Passport to Pizza – Yakuza 0 the Yakuza franchise is absolutely jam-packed with deliriously insane, highly entertaining side missions, aka sub-stories. So picking just one out of literally hundreds on offer is actually quite the agonizing task. An easy fan favorite, however, is Yakuza Zero's Passport to Pizza, in which you must acquire a pizza for a pronunciation-impaired woman named Samantha. Cue a hilarious outing where he visits a burger shop and forces the poor woman working behind the counter to phone a pizzeria and order him a pizza. Pizza. After finally receiving your order, you've just got 90 seconds to get the hot, doughy goodness back to Samantha. In that time, however, Samantha has been working hard on her pronunciation and reveals that she actually wanted a visa, not a pizza. So she's rather miffed when you present her with a giant pizza pie instead. Then Samantha's pimp shows up, whose ass you promptly beat, leading to a gut busting twist ending where the remorseful pimp proposes to Samantha and you're there just going, What is going on? Finally, it ends with the best slash worst one-liner I've ever heard, good pizzas like a new marriage. Enjoy it while it's hot. Ridiculous and completely unforgettable. Number 9. The Truth – Grand Theft Auto V now, the truth isn't exactly a single side mission in GTA V, but actually an entire questline in which Michael finds himself falling in with the Scientology-esque cult known as the Epsilon Program. The eight missions see the player performing an increasingly peculiar set of activities, from searching for aliens to wandering around the desert for five miles while wearing an Epsilon robe. Oh, and of course, because this is a pyramid scheme effectively, you're periodically invited to donate money. The climactic mission, Unknowing the Truth, promises players the rewards of limitless knowledge if they deliver $2.1 million in apocalypse funds to a helicopter, only to end up being gifted with a rusty tractor. Hilariously though, sufficiently pissed off players can decide to turn on the cause, slaughtering the entire Epsilon security detail and making off with the cash themselves. Either way, it's a ludicrously enjoyable hour-long detour from the main game, and strangely enough, absolutely vital in its own weird way. Number 8. The Silver Shroud – Fallout 4 Fallout can always be relied on to deliver some effort-filled side quests, and that's certainly true in Fallout 4's brilliant The Silver Shroud mission. Players who listen to the retro Silver Shroud radio near Good Neighbor will find themselves able to oblige the station's owner, who desperately wants to see his favorite childhood superhero, The Silver Shroud, come to life. And so, players can seek out The Silver Shroud's costume and accessories, after which they'll be able to run around Good Neighbor fighting crime just as it's reported on the radio. You're not only able to kill per and leave a silver shroud calling card on their corpses, but also take on a ridiculously deep voice confirming the balmy surrealty of the gloriously meta quest within a quest storytelling. For anyone who loves superheroes, and let's be honest, who doesn't these days, this simply cannot be missed. Number 7. Waterlogged – Horizon Zero Dawn – The Frozen Wilds one of the most engrossing missions in Horizon Zero Dawn is in fact a side mission in the Frozen Wilds DLC, whereby Aloy meets a drummer who asks her to help drain her precious drumming spot, Deep Din, which has been flooded by an unknown party. It's a bit of a ridiculous setup, but this side mission not only features some clever water-related puzzle solving, but also, most importantly, introduces players to one of the game's most endearing NPCs, Gildan. Aloy eventually discovers that the clumsy yet charming Gildan was actually the cause of the flood, and they end up working together to fix his damage. Waterlog ticks all of the side mission boxes, it's got a unique setting, introduces players to two delightful new characters, and boasts fun new puzzles and platforming. And just to top it off, has more heart than most of the main story missions. Number 6. Who Done It? The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion 
We all love a good murder mystery, and Oblivion took full advantage of this with its deliciously dark side quest, Who Done It, in which players are asked to take part in a murder mystery game where they actually have to murder all five of the other participants for real. What really takes Who Done It to the next level, though, is the fact that the players are able to go about the mission however they see fit. You can just simply slaughter the lot of them in one mad rampage, or you can pick them off one by one, or even induce them to start killing each other. If you can pull it off without any of the killings being witnessed by another person, though, you'll end up with a pretty neat bonus reward, the Night Mother's Blessing stat boost. It might honestly be the most replayable mission in the entirety of the Elder Scrolls series, offering up the ultimate wish fulfillment of allowing players to disrupt a murder mystery party game in the most effed up way possible. Number 5. Shoot This Guy In The Face Borderlands 2 I mean, it does exactly what it says in the tin, it's hilarious and unforgettable. Just shoot him in the face, he wants it. Number 4. Ribbons – Silent Hill Downpour Though Silent Hill Downpour rightly received uh, mixed reviews from critics, there is nevertheless a major diamond in the rough by way of its optional mission, Ribbons. On Lansdale Avenue, players can find a missing persons poster for an eight-year-old girl, who typically found her way home by following a series of ribbons placed on the street by her mother. Players who kept walking the street will find a yellow ribbon and a color code for yellow, red, and blue ribbons, each instructing them to take different directions. However, players who follow the ribbons to the letter will eventually be brought to the edge of a pier where they'll find a key. Taking the key to a nearby apartment building will then lead the player to find a note from the mother, heavily implying that she deliberately changed the ribbon route to cause her daughter to walk directly down the pier and drown, because she was tired of caring for her. Ooh, it sure isn't pleasant, but considering how throwaway and forgettable most side missions are, here's one that really sticks to the ribs and burrows deep inside the player's psyche. Number 3. From the Ground Up The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Picking just one side quest from the Legend of Zelda series is a thankless task, but they didn't come any more charming or heartfelt than Breath of the Wild's From the Ground Up. The mission sees players helping Hudson construct the eventually bustling Tarry Town, from the simplicity of gathering wood supplies to seeking out specific people to help the town's economy flourish, and eventually convincing a former priest to move to the town and officiate Hudson's wedding. Once you've rounded up a few guests, you even get to witness the wedding yourself, placing a heartwarming kappa on top of things. Though it's fundamentally just full of busy work, this quest is a delightful microcosm of civilization and of what can be achieved when people put their heads together. Despite being easily missable, this is more rewarding than, well, pretty much everything else in the game. Number 2. I Know You – Red Dead Redemption as dramatically potent as Red Dead Redemption's main story is, most of its side content is pretty damn worthwhile as well, and none more so than the three-part stranger mission, I Know You. The quest begins with John Marston encountering a well-dressed man who appears to have a suspicious amount of knowledge about him, though never quite lets on how he knows him. The player must then partake in two moral quests, convincing or dissuading a man from cheating on his wife and donating to a nun or not, after which John will encounter the strange man one more time. After losing his temper with the man's mysteriousness, John opens fire on him, but the bullets just do nothing and the man walks away. Given that the man refers to himself as an accountant and knowingly speaks of John's eventual resting place as a fine spot, many fans have assumed that the man is in fact God, or even the devil, or maybe just death. Whatever your own conclusion, fans have been debating the precise meaning of this brilliantly enigmatic side mission for the entire decade since its release, and that makes for a bloody good quest. And number one, a sad tune, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. In tune with its generally minimalist approach to storytelling and emotion, the brilliantly heart-wrenching Brothers A Tale of Two Sons features one of the most shattering side missions that you're likely to ever come across. At the beginning of the game's fourth chapter, players are able to head down a small, easily missable path to the right while they'll find a man attempting to hang himself from a tree. Because the game's conceit sees players controlling each of the two brothers with a separate thumbstick, you need to have the older brother hold the man's legs and the younger one cut the noose, preventing his suicide. It then it becomes clear that the man tried to kill himself because his family died in a house fire, leaving behind only a music box. The mission is completed by perilously fetching the music box and giving it back to him, which seems to allow him to move on from his grief and bury his family. The mission may only last a couple of minutes, but its solemn wordlessness bolsters its universal, achingly human impact. You get to help someone through an extremely tough time, and yet, many players never even came across it. 
And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 video game side missions you must complete. I hope you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it, as well as what else you would have included on your own version of this list, because who knows, I might come back and do a commenter's edition of this further down the line. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me at RetroJ with a zero over on Twitter, or you can go to Live and Let's Dice. It's my personal gaming channel where I stream every single Wednesday and Sunday. But before I go, my friends, I just want to tell you about one side mission that you must complete as well today, and that is to ask yourself a very simple question. Are you okay? It's fine if you are completely fine, but if you're not, then remember, my friend, you are not alone. And you don't have to be alone with your own problems either. Because remember, friends, family, professionals in the support industry, these people care about you and want you to do well and are there for you to help. So yeah, even just asking yourself that little question might open up some other deeper things that you might need help with, or might just give you a nice bit of affirmation to go, yeah, things are okay right now. And you know what, my friend? Good on you. Now go out there and smash at your big ledge. As always, I've been Jules. You've been awesome. Never forget that. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.